As more states legalize marijuana, new research is showing an alarming risk for young men. According to a study published in the journal Psychological Medicine, up to 30% of schizophrenia cases in men aged 21 to 30 may be related to heavy marijuana use. The new data comes as more Americans are using pot than ever before. The National Institute on Drug Abuse reports that in 2021, 11% of adults, young adults used marijuana every day. That's up double from 10 years ago. News Nation's Nancy Liu has more on this new research and the risks for young men. Hey, Nancy. Hey there, Elizabeth. Since the legalization of recreational marijuana here in California and over 20 other states, there's been growing research on the health impact. The newest study is raising concern over cannabis-induced psychosis and schizophrenia, and researchers say those at highest risk are young men. So when Johnny died, I was basically in a fetal position for about six months. Laura and John Stack are still coming to terms with the suicide of their son in 2019. The Stacks live in Colorado, the first state to legalize marijuana in 2012. His parents say Johnny became a regular user in his teens. He would say, what do you want, mom and dad? I have a 4.0. And it was kind of hard to argue with that. And he didn't seem to have any problems until he did. Compounding his problems, Johnny was also using pot products made with extracts that produce no telltale smell. He had started vaping and it was completely odor, odorless. And from the, about the age of 14 through 17, we had no idea at all. By 18, Johnny was a heavy user, exhibiting symptoms of psychosis. He started to think that people were listening to him through his iPhone. He would buy burner phones and put sticky notes over the webcam saying that people were watching him. Uh, began to think that the mob was after him. The stacks are now left to cherish photos and videos, including Johnny reciting a poem three days before he took his own life. You always say never. Have my view. Don't. Since the spread of legalization over the past decade, a number of studies have looked into the health impacts. The latest is a Danish study co-authored by a director at the National Institutes of Health. If it does produce psychosis and acute psychotic episode, that can be very, very terrifying. And so someone may um, con con basically kill themselves in a very impulsive act. In the study published this month in Psychological Medicine, researchers say there's enough data to confirm that a, quote, association between cannabis use disorder and schizophrenia is stronger in young males than females. That period of transition between the three teens and the 20s, which is exactly when you start to see the emergence of schizophrenia. But the risks are significantly higher for males than females. Marijuana legalization has ushered in a new generation of potent pot, which contain much more THC, the part of the plant that induces the high. Back in the 70s, the average plant had a THC level under 3%. Genetic engineering has pushed the average up to nearly 25%. They've done studies in Europe where they've administered purified THC to subjects in a clinical study, and they found that 40% of those who with no family history of psychosis develop psychotic symptoms. Recreational sales are now legal in 22 states along with Washington, D.C. Only Vermont and Connecticut have caps on THC potency. He told us three days before he died that marijuana ruined my mind and my life, and I'm sorry, and I love you. The stacks now travel the country to warn others about the dangers of pot potency. Earlier this month, Oklahoma joined other states in rejecting the legalization for recreational use. Now, where it is legal, operators here say this industry is highly regulated. It's why most packaging is clearly labeled with THC levels and also age restrictions are strictly enforced. But Elizabeth, the problem is people under 21 getting their hands on products and it's obviously a big problem. Yeah, I can tell you, I've seen kids in the city with this stuff. The age restrictions are not strictly enforced. Um, 
no matter what everybody's saying. It's Nancy, awesome. Lou, thanks so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.